Hello everybody, this is Count Christo. Welcome back to Factorio, played uh, expertly with Adaway. Say hello, Adaway. <laughs> hello there. We're doing really well, as you can see. So, Our factory is uh, yeah. thriving. So Bottleneck has conveniently just reminded me that uh, these these gear wheels have, were being read because you can't input enough into them a lot of the time. We need... Uh, okay. We try to start consuming... We need fast inserters. Well, what I did was I just put two inserters on each, which is okay. actually more efficient. If you don't have to use a smart inserter, uh, fast inserter, don't, because it's more efficient to use the equivalent number of. Uh, oh, right, electricity again. It's it's more efficient to use the equivalent number of uh, slow inserters that carry as much as one fast inserter as it is to use fast inserters. Okay. I explained that quite badly, but yeah, it's more power efficient to use slow inserters. To transport the same number of items per minute. So, I need this copper plate to meet with the gear wheels to make science. So I'm going to want underground belt. So I'm going to want, want, want a splitter to start with, obviously. Need other stuff I don't have. Need. Fine. We seem to be managing. I'm experimenting with how many uh, steam engines you can put on the number of boilers we've got. It looks like you can put five, three with five steam engines. Seems crazy. Oh, that might be because we're not a power con full power consumption though. All right, so while you're working on that, what shall I do? I'm not sure. I could go on a quick scouting expedition it wouldn't take me very long just to walk all the way around the edge of our current site and give us a bit of a idea where the enemies are going to come. Okay. But that would probably take me like a, it would be like a five minute trek, so I'd probably rather not. So can't wait till we have power oh, armor. Copper plate, one <laughs> iron gear wheel. I'm looking forward to power. I'm going to I'm going to want to split off get from the gear wheels track, aren't I? Yes, this is correct. So, where are these going? Under point. So I got into Factorio watching uh, watching a Rumba play, like I got into most games, because <laughs> me and Rumba seem to have very similar tasting games. But uh, yeah, in he did some quite really good fun multiplayers, which you should go and watch, by the way, if you want to watch. Like I, I remember them being play. a thing. Yeah, I they remember. Were, they were really good. Watching a little bit. But uh, yeah, he always used to be like stuck on raw material duty it's like he'd just be increasing constantly produce increasing iron uh, uh smelting and mining while everyone else used all the materials <laughs> this, 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 this is so cack handed <laughs> it, it, it's, it's gonna work but it's gonna look horrific it's not it doesn't look that bad oh, okay yeah that's pretty bad yes see <laughs> what are you i'm oh, sorry no, i'm leaving it up to you <laughs> Well, we're going to have like a thing, and it's going to go around here. And then there'll be stuff. And Oh, wait, we haven't got thingy bobs, have we? I'm, th I'm thinking about... Oh, we have got long-handed inserts that's one, isn't it? Oh, do we? Yeah. Uh, of course, yeah, yeah they're the first take. So... Fine. And then there'll be a whole bunch of inserters, and then um, research lamps on the on the far side of the inserters. So I'm not taking sorry, over. Sorry, assemblers, assemblers. I'm not taking it. Can I give you a couple of, what, a couple of tips? First okay. off, this this insert this splitter right here. Why not put yeah. it here, so you don't waste this space here. Okay. And then the other thing is, when you're producing something like red science, production takes a long time, so you can probably get do well with a mixed belt like this. It also removes the need for long handed inserters. Okay. So you also want to you want to bring this up this way then? Generally, you want to be as space efficient as possible. There's no reason not to put this. Yeah, put it so there. there's no yeah, reason just to put it. Yeah, and then have your yeah. copper coming in there. Yeah. Oh. 
There you go. Beautiful. And also, like, just continuing the theme, space efficiency. Why not do that? <laughs> and then it just uses slightly less space. Make sense? And then, yeah, so cool. I, want, what, I want, like, three inserters, probably. I don't know. You can look. So uh, if you look at the red science pack, it takes five seconds and uses one copper plate and one iron gear, gear, gear wheel. Your in, one normal inserter is going to have no problem inserting two items every five seconds. So just one. Just one should be fine. I'll work on a uh, an actual area to use up all this science you're going to generate. I'm going to put it up here. And then that will like side red fence where it would then go basically nowhere. Ooh. Just retrieving the science labs, Lab Dean Rocket Hall. I feel like I'm building a Borg lab. cube. <laughs> These are interesting names for labs, the games assigned to them. <clears throat> yeah, they're Patreons. Not Patreons. Uh, um, oh, people who, support, people who supported yeah, the backers. game being made. Uh, <laughs> Which is yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, this looks alright. Well, I hope it's alright. Awesome. Where's our... Uh... There it is. Alright, nice. Just picked up 300 transport belt out of that box. The beauties of automation. Uh, freaking... Electric poles. That'll do. You know, it's really messy. By the way, however much production you just set up, it's not enough. Well, not, not, not enough science. Yeah. Well, it can scale. Let's zoom out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is, this all, is this is all going to be red science? Uh, you need to put all the science packs into all of the... Uh... All of the things. Yeah. Well, you know... Basically, there's no reason to build a science place twice, is my theory. So you might as well build it at the beginning as to, to, to do it as fast as you want at the end. And then you can just control how fast your science goes by how much science you output. So, do you, so do you, you basically want like a central science lab bit that then just, then just then gets fed by the things making the yes, science? Yes, exactly. At least that's how I run it. So I'm going to want loads of belt basically down here. Hmm? Going up. Yeah. I'm oh, belt on, up yeah, you need to belt to all the red up here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we'll just do science. Yeah, very quick. This game has like no music, does it? Uh, it cuts out for some reason. And we don't need to actually fill out this whole blueprint now. We're just saving this space. Okay, right. Well, the red science is now coming up. Um, I'm going to delete these labs here, which don't need to be here anymore. I think forever to delete. Here they do, rather. All right, red on its way. Beautiful. Yeah, and then if you could just up red science production by like a factor a of five, then maybe more. Yeah. Then we'll be golden. But yeah, like we don't need to, to run more than. How much are these going to consume at the moment? The kind of science we're doing at the moment takes like. This is five seconds per pack. So this would actually need as met like a Christ done. But uh, let's do it right now. 
I'm going to get some... Eh, let's get steel processing tech done. Okay. You should also have a couple of boxes at the beginning of the belt just to, to store some of this resources There's somewhere to grab it from. Beautiful. I think that's fine for now, really. With, uh, yeah, beautiful, even better. Ugh. Ah, ha, ha. What? <laughs> I beat you to one of them. Oh, did you? <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we're going to get science going at uh, a pretty nice pace. All right, what should we automate cool. next? Um... Well, we're going to want to, in want to insert, sorry, automate inserters, aren't we? So we can then do green science. Right? Inserters are a pain because they require the next tier of uh, assembling machine. Okay, so that's what we need to work towards then. I think we should probably do, do a little bit of... Tech for that. I think we should do a little bit of native management first. Oh, right, okay. So let's automate bullet production. So it's iron, it's isn't just it? iron, yeah. So yeah, space efficiency. The other thing is don't just go, don't just extend it further along. Also send some below the belt. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's do that in this case. Have you got a splitter? Do you throw it right here? Uh, I do, in fact, yes. Here. Yeah. On the iron, preferably. Oh. <laughs> Wait, right, right there. here. Yes. Beautiful. Let's get this going. There we go. There we go. Bullet manufacturing. Thing of beauty. Now these take four and take only one second. So we definitely want to get as many inserters on them as possible. Okay. Like that. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. So there's firearm pr production. Now we're going to have to pocket craft some uh, gun turrets. There's steel processing. Oh, I've got I a warehousing mod as well, which is like boxes, but they're like five by five, and they they can they can store like they have in terms of your inventory, they're about fifty times larger. It's heavy armor research. So, can't yet see any bad guys. No, not yet. On the map. All right, I am going to go and make a make a trek. Uh, I've built. I've got two gun turrets. Where are we going to want them? Well, we don't know yet, do we? No, we don't know yet. Not until we know where the guys are. You should build yourself a submachine gun, by the way, and throw away your pistol. Yeah. How do you put things down again? I can't remember. There is a way to just throw something on the floor. But what you'll see me doing is just leaving little boxes with stuff in all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, so I'm just going to go on a little trek. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way, anyway. Oh, thank you. This is, this is how I envision spending it. <laughs> uh, oh, right, and in the top left... Uh, it's not activated yet. Never mind. The assemblers making guns are not working all the time. Making guns? Sorry, ammo. Uh... Oh, they're, oh they're, I'm sorry, they haven't got any iron. Alright, it's fine. Cool. They we haven't. It hasn't just come across yet. We still need even more iron. Really? Iron is, like, a long point for a long time into the game. Iron is the main bottleneck. Of the main resources, which is just iron and copper in the base game, uh, I mean, there's also coal, I guess, but the main, main, main resources, iron and copper. Uh, iron is usually the deficit until you get late game or well maybe kind of mid game when you start using Christ tons of circuits then copper starts becoming a real issue okay so, so I'm going to build a whole bunch more mining for uh, iron cool 
Um, oh, is it? Uh, it's actually all that's the shortfall, is it? That's what I'm doing. Cool. Well, yeah. There's, there's, well, yeah, because the ore, the ore isn't backing up. It's all being, it's all being smelted. Right. Yeah. Oh, I can see actually. Yeah, we're producing. It's very close. If you look at our production screen, in the last hour, we produced three more iron ore per minute than we did iron plate. Okay, so we don't, we don't need masses more. But, I uh, found them. I found them. But we do need some. So that's fine. Oh, yeah, I found them. We are not oh, alone. Yeah. We are not alone in this universe. There is a single biter spawner. So there's a temptation to go and kill it. Uh, do you know are how... They, are they difficult to kill? No, uh, but the more you kill, the harder they get to kill. They evolve based on the number of biters total that you've killed. Sorry, the number of bases that you've destroyed, not the number of biters you've killed, crucially. So it's more effective sometimes to hold them off. Okay. Resource spawner overhaul does make biters less common, uh, given the huge spread out of how it does its spawning stuff. So this this won't be a kind of mad biter campaign. If if we enjoy this, we could do maybe a uh, a crazy biter campaign next time, where we just have okay. We just have stupid numbers of biters around. You have to constantly avoid them. Generally, biters aren't hugely fun, in my opinion. So I don't usually bother. I just turn them off. <laughs> but I feel like for your first proper game, you should uh, at least yeah. You should you should experience. Get the, the full experience. The okay, so we're now we are now backing up or iron ore. So that's good. Awesome. I found a uh, 1.9 million iron ore deposit over here. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, but that's if you look nice. at the new minimap, like all this area I've I revealed, like there's nothing in most of it because of resource spawner, spawner overhaul. Oh, uh, empty. Do 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 do. So how close is our pollution to these biters? It's actually quite a long way. We're only about halfway to their bases that I found so far. So we've got a little way to go before they're going to start coming at us. What we're going to want to do is automate, yeah, automate bullet production, automate gun turret production, then automate the transporting of bullets to uh, to turrets, preferably before we ever have to start holding them off, just to avoid the micro of. Uh, we are we are backing up red science. <laughs> are we? What yeah. really? Yeah, because because we have we've only got some uh, built. Yeah, and also because crafting speed takes like 30 seconds per pack. Okay, so, so what, I, what I might do, as we're not going to fill this whole thing out now, what I'm going to do is loop it round. Just a bit we've built. Uh, there's no need because backup's not a problem. Backup is backup is just it is like having spare, in my opinion. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, okay, because they're still, they're still all working, aren't they? So yeah. there's no real... Real problem. Okay. Sometimes you might even want to have uncapped production, meaning like when you when it starts backing up, you just put a chest and it just fills the chest, so your backup becomes like just not just the belt being full, but like a thousand in a chest. Okay. But that's not it's not always a good idea because it costs huge amounts of resources. I'm happy to just handle uh, research until there's actually like real decisions. Yeah, yeah. Generally, the the bottleneck on what you can build is not research, but just time invested in actually building the thing. So, like, we can have collaborate efforts on like deciding what we should build next, but what to research next is kind of it doesn't matter that much. Okay. So, what what should I be doing now? Because I'm just sort of observing the factory. Well, if everything's working. not backing up, uh, so if everything is backing up, that's my kind of. Uh, I like we it. We are not. We're not backing copper up. I would uh, just build some more copper then. Um, some more steel, iron. So if you want something more exciting, you could uh, you could try and you could automate green science, which will require having automated inserter production, which actually we can't do. Have, yes, I said you, you said before we need the yeah. next level of the uh, right. assembler. Make some science pack twos so that I can research the next tier of the assemblers. Okay, that'd be great. Hang on, I don't want to make that first. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and remember to save at the end of each episode, so that we don't 
mess yes, anything up. Yes, we don't absolutely lose the entire. Yeah, there are save. auto saves, but yeah, I think it only stores one auto save. Although knowing this game and how good the developers are, I bet you can decide how many auto saves you save. Was it, was, did this game come through early access? Yes. Is it out of early access now? Yeah, it's been out for like four months, five months or something. I bought it before it was on Steam though. It was in. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It was I in beta it was access. In, yeah. Yeah. I vaguely remember that. Actually, I, think, might have, uh, I might have got it when it was in alpha. It was a long time ago. All the sprites have changed. <laughs> okay. You can probably you can probably count the number of like early access success stories on like two hands. There aren't a huge number. There's like a handful of games that have actually done the process correctly. Come on the other side. It's entirely down to the developers being like firstly developers. good firstly good people and secondly disciplined. Yeah. Oh, actually, we didn't need you to make any blue sign, uh, yellow, green science packs. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? We're gonna have automation two in like thirty seconds. It's, I've only made one, so it's okay. Okay, cool. Okay, I finished my trek. The Great Walk. There right. we go. Copper is now backing up. Should be. Sweet. Just built a whole bunch. Yeah, there it is. Basically, my yeah. ideal scenario is that you should always have a backup on iron and copper. If you don't, just increase production. Because yeah. if you don't have a backup, then eventually stuff's going to start draining and you're going to have machines shutting off because they don't have enough input. Yep. Okay. The only thing we haven't... Well, the only thing that's not working is the is the transport belt and gear wheel production is not 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 optimised. Um, what do you mean by not they're, optimised? They're not, they're not getting enough iron. Oh, really? Is one no. splitter not giving them enough? That'll nope. probably be it. They're not getting enough from the... Well, here's the thing is they're getting 50% of the bus that comes in. That's not enough. So that's... Nope. Hmm. We do have uh, uncapped... Uh... Oh, iron's not backed up. Iron's not even close to backed up. Well, no, the, I mean, the, the iron ore is backed up, but not... The oh, plate. The iron plate oh, is not okay. Up, yeah. yeah, no. Backed up ore should be like an... I, I, I take that as kind of... I normally consider that. Almost, it's almost automatic that the ore yeah, is backed yeah. we, up. We, we, didn't, we didn't have iron or copper ore backed up until I... Until I, I see, I there. see. Yeah, the plate is not backed up. Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, well, let's end the episode. But then in the next one, let's we'll lay down another, uh, another yeah. smelting area. Okay. Or, or two, actually. All right. Thank You're you crazy. very much for watching, everybody. After my great trek, we now know that we are not alone. There are some alien bases. Open up the map, by the way. I know, I see them, they're everywhere. Yeah, so the, the ones in the bottom left, I think, are probably going to be the issue first. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, miners are, the, are one of the huge outputs outputs of pollution. So, they'll be spreading from basically wherever our mining area is. Okay. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.